It is either light or darkness. The two can never live together. When I am in sin, I'm living in darkness. I am separated from God. And God, through His beloved Son, Jesus, became my dad. Can dad be at peace when his children are lost in the street? Parents, I ask you, earthly parents, can you ever rest when your son or your daughter is missing out there? Gone. Drugs destroyed them. Alcoholism destroyed them. Gambling destroyed them. Wrong, wrong friends destroyed them. They are in prison. Can mom and dad live, sleep comfortably and their children are in jail? Their children are in the street lost. Can they live comfortably? I ask you, answer me. Impossible. How much more our heavenly father can be at rest when we are lost in our sinful life? When will God rest? When I receive his beloved son, Jesus Christ, by the precious blood which he shed on Calvary, he wiped all of my sins away. Now I'm sin free. I am now the son of God sinless because to be the son of God you must be like your father sinless only one is sinless Jesus Christ of Nazareth when you receive the sinless Jesus Christ through Jesus Christ you become the son to the Almighty God God becomes your dad then you're able to enter your Heavenly Father's house when we enter our Heavenly Father's house then the father will say finally I am at rest. My son was dead and now he is alive. He was lost and now he is found. Finally I rest. This is God's rest. Therefore, what is Shabbat? Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God will rest when Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. You with me? That's why Shabbat has no beginning nor end because the true Shabbat, who is Christ Jesus, lives forever. There is no beginning nor end to Jesus, who is the true Shabbat. This is the rest of God, His Son. Not Saturday. Man, until when are we going to be like little kindergarten kids? We need to mature, grow up in spirituality. This is the true Shabbat. My goodness. But you see, unless you receive the New Testament, the Old Testament will always be hidden. Because it takes God to reveal His Word to you. Not some teacher not some theologian it takes God to reveal his word because his word is infinite and eternal like him that's why this word is God himself who can explain the word which is God only God because he is the only being that has no beginning nor end to him I am finite I can never understand the infinite being it takes the infinite God to explain himself to me and you and this took place when Jesus Christ of Nazareth was born the New Testament Church was born on Pentecost the 50th day